This presentation is to talk you through how I delivered my first MuleSoft project to unlock data at Bentley. Well, hi, my name is Lily. I'm 19 years old and I'm eight months into my four year degree apprenticeship at Bentley. I'm in digitalization and corporate innovation. We work on projects across the business and use technology to unlock better ways of working. I decided to do a degree apprenticeship because I wanted to experience a working environment whilst expanding my knowledge and working towards a recognized degree qualification. I study at Manchester Metropolitan University one day a week and spend most of the rest of my time working and applying my knowledge in a hands-on environment. I've done a lot of training in my first few months of my career, and this includes mobile application development training, project management, and of course, MuleSoft. This is an opportunity I would not have been given if I was a full-time university student. I chose to do IT-based apprenticeship because I enjoyed computer science at school. The jump from my A-levels to both my degree and my job role was massive. It is very difficult learning knowledge from a textbook to implement it in real life, but I have lots of support. I would say that I learn so many new things every day and sometimes the technical side of what I do takes me some time to get my head around. But I'm thoroughly enjoying learning and developing whilst futuring my career. Today I'm going to talk about my MuleSoft journey, the background of Bentley, the problems that we needed to resolve, what I built and how I did so in the AnyPoint platform, the impact of my work, and then I'll probably go over a few of my key takeaways. I am early on in my MuleSoft journey, and I feel like I have accomplished a lot in a very short amount of time. I started at Bentley in September 2019, straight after finishing sixth form. Focusing on mainly app development, I was placed on a pioneering project and soon realised we would need to utilise APIs in order to deliver. Due to another large project at Bentley with Salesforce, I attended a one-day MuleSoft training workshop on the AnyPoint platform in London at the Salesforce Tower on the 12th of March just this year and just before lockdown. Just two weeks later, I did the one-week AnyPoint platform development fundamentals training. Straight after this, I then had four weeks MuleSoft professional services support for our Halo project, which I will speak a bit more about later. This helped me to learn best practice on API delivery and gave me peer support on my API development. This brings us to around the 7th of May. Since this, I've used MuleSoft forums in the Help Centre, which include articles and technical resources to assist my development if I get stuck. My next steps on the journey I would like to take is to do my developer certification exam for Mule 4 once I've delivered the current project I'm working on. I also wish to attend some meetups and broaden my community interactions with MuleSoft and eventually do some more MuleSoft training. As I'm early on in my journey, I'm not sure yet which training I'd like to do, but I definitely want to do some. When starting this journey, be aware that MuleSoft support and the whole community is willing to help you learn and develop in order to utilize the platform. I'm starting to see the benefits of interacting with MuleSoft and the wider community. Even after specific engagement with MuleSoft, with the MuleSoft team, we are still highly engaged on the success of the project that I'm working on at the moment. My advice is to just jump in with both feet because there is support available. I have had lots of support from both within Bentley and from MuleSoft. Even despite the remote working challenges, I've never felt alone. And I feel I've achieved a lot over the last couple of months working with MuleSoft and that my journey is only just beginning. As I said before, I'm a digital apprentice at Bentley. The company was founded in 1919 by Walter Owen. He created the company with a simple objective to build a fast car, a good car, the best in its class. This guiding principle has driven Bentley ever since, pushing the brand forward and making it the leader in the automotive industry around the world today. Into the next century, we are striving to enhance customer experience. You can see our EXP100 concept car. This concept car shows us the vision for Bentley as we progress and how we would like to utilize technology. I urge you to go and look into it later on. My department focuses on applying technology in all areas in the business, whether it is directly to improve products or to just improve processes in general. Bentley is part of the Volkswagen Group and follows group guidelines with data classification. We have public, internal, confidential and secret data. With secret data, it is required to be encrypted in transit and at rest. The knowledge of secret data by unauthorised persons endangers the company or the VW Group in general. An example of secret data is KPIs, key performance indicators. The access of secret data in mobile applications has never been done at Bentley before, 
and we needed a, we needed to find a way to be sure the way we did this was secure and adheres to the VW Group standards. And due to the recent COVID-19 remote working, the urgency for the resolution to the problem that we're facing increased. We were reliant on one person at Bentley to produce all the MuleSoft APIs. This led to the Mule fundamental trainings for a colleague and myself to release the bottlenecks for current and future projects. As we work more with MuleSoft, we will rely heavily on API development and there are plans to train more colleagues in the future. So the Halo project. The project I'm working on at the moment is my first project at Bentley. I enjoy finding solutions to problems we are facing and hope to work on more projects that allow me to do so. We are in the process of developing a mobile application for senior executives across the business that handles secret data. We needed to find a way to be sure that the data we were accessing was encrypted in transit and at rest. But another guideline we needed to follow was that the secret data needs to be audited by the specific users who are accessing it. We needed to make a change to our authorization on mobile applications in order to do so. The data was required to be transported electronically and encrypted from an encrypted database and encrypted file share to the user's mobile devices. As this is a pioneering project and we only had one person at Bentley to handle, handle all our API development, we had help from MuleSoft Support Professional Services to learn best practices on API delivery and peer support to assist my own development. This really helped myself and the rest of Bentley team and I would recommend to anybody who wants who wishes to use MuleSoft to make use of the professional services support, especially in the early days, but also when pioneering in general. One of the things we built was the OpenID Connect Identity Provider. We were not building this from scratch as we were working with what we already had, but making changes to pass the Java web tokens in order to audit the data accessed. We also built seven APIs to resolve the problem we had with accessing secret data. I'm going to take you through step by step how I built these APIs with the AnyPoint platform. Firstly, we took the requirements from the business owner of the application we were building and defined the endpoints we would require, as well as the HTTP methods. This is important to do so as mapping out the API specs reduces dev time and you don't have to keep running back to the owner of the application. Then we broke these down into separate APIs. We have two system APIs that connect the encrypted database and the encrypted file share. We then decided we needed four process APIs. One of those already existed at Bentley, so we were lucky and we reused that. And the three new process APIs, we spec these so that they will be able to be reused in other applications in the future. And finally, we have two experienced APIs to pull the process APIs all together required for the se separate mobile or web applications. You can see from the diagram how all those APIs work together. We then created the basic API template for Bentley for reuse. I can use this template for any APIs I wish to develop in the future, rather than recreating everything from scratch. As we knew what APIs we had to make and their endpoints, we made adjustments to the basic RAML template in the design center to create the separate specialized templates for each API. The finished designs were then published into Exchange so they, they could be accessed for anyone to see. We included relevant documentation for developers to be able to clearly see if this API can be reused for the specific requirements in the future. Once these templates were published in Exchange, we pulled them into the AnyPoint Studio and configured the RAML so the APIs were ready for testing. We were sure to use relevant error handling for the APIs so they were secure enough for live use. We then published to API Manager so that they can be reused and deployed into live environments. Again, the reuse of these APIs is very important in MuleSoft and it can save a lot of development time. I'll proceed to go into this a little bit more detail later on. The impact of my work. We resolved the problem we were facing as now we can access the data we require and it does ha not have to be through a Bentley PC on the Bentley VPN. We are also making lots of use of the API ecosystem. By implementing best practice, we have reusability across our APIs. This means less development time and the products will be quicker to the market so we can really realise the benefit of the data that we are accessing. The result of the Halo project opens opportunity for more pioneering projects across the business and customer centricity because we have the opportunity to access secret data now remotely. The APIs I set out to design were originally intended for a mobile application for senior execs to access data. One API is already being reused and utilized as part of Bentley's 
COVID-19 response to unlock other data. We are also using secret data API logic for factory ramp up, as well as supporting remote working for those who do not necessarily need to be on site in this current climate. Get in touch with me if you have any questions or you're interested in using the solution I've created following today. Working with Neurosoft has been a brilliant opportunity for not only myself, but for Bentley as a whole. We have been able to utilize best practice and the support we had meant we were able to accelerate the HALO project that I mentioned earlier. Our development of the APIs in this project with the help of Neurosoft was efficient and I hope to take what I learned to make more APIs following the same routine and learn by doing. Like I mentioned before, at the beginning of my Mulesoft journey, all the digitalization future talent team visited the Salesforce Tower. We took a few selfies, as you can see. I found this very inspirational, and if anybody has the chance to go, I highly recommend you to do so. As I also said, I'm very fortunate to be doing a degree apprenticeship because not only do I have the opportunity to apply the knowledge I learn by doing my degree in real life situations, but I also have the opportunities to do further training and open up opportunities to better myself. I feel very lucky to be able to present to you all today and hope you've enjoyed learning a little about my journey as an apprentice using Neurosoft to make a big impact at Bentley. If you have any questions, please just ask them in the live chat. Thank you.